This is the Five Martin Place site before construction, when it was known as the Money Box. It was constructed in three main stages. Originally built in 1916, with an extension added on in 1930, and then in 1960. The unrealised potential of the site was unlocked by an innovative design solution by the architects JPW and TKD in association, replacing the 1960s development with an additional 8,000 square metres of office space cantilevered over the Heritage Building. According to Tony Lavarato, lead structural engineer on the project, the concept behind the structure goes back to simple engineering theory. However, its execution created complex and distinctly different load paths and actions on all four sides of the building, which is unusual. The red arrows here indicate the inclined columns, which have formed the massive V structure comprising of a combination of diagonal compression struts, which are tied back with tension elements indicated in blue. The arrows show the load path that this cantilever structure takes. In this view, the heritage element is removed to show how the structure behaves. The new building can support itself to stand alone with no imposed loads on the heritage building. The western side of the building here comprises the majority of the unique cantilever and you can see the distinctly different impact of the cantilever on the tension within the building elements. Instead of tension developing in the horizontal elements, as on the V-strut system shown before, the structure is now completely hung from two nodes at the top corners of the building, indicated in red. The south side view demonstrates how aesthetics played a large part in the structural design. The building is strutted off the main concrete core at level 14, shown by the horizontal red arrows. This is significant because the logical structural solution would be to strut from level 11, where the cantilever commences. However, because the structure is visible from both inside and outside the building, the desire to have an elegant design drove us to have the angle relationships aligning through the building. Now we're looking at the eastern face. The overall building tension load that's developed extends down the column elements all the way to the footings. The design here was further complicated, as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, where the foundation doesn't extend all the way to the ground, but instead cantilevers so as not to impose loads on the eastern suburbs railway tunnel, which runs under the site. Now, with the heritage building visual reinstated, you can see how the smarts of the solution are hidden. To the casual observer, this would look like any other extension to an existing building, not a world-first structural solution.